We're on the air now, okay? Can you hear? No, I can't. Here's the volume. Okay. Come on. You've, been, right. you've done this enough. Okay. Hello. You're Hi. Li- you're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox from Carol West. That was the Arctic Monkeys. Four out of five from the album Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino. Started off with ELO, Living Thing. And the time is, uh, what time is it? Oh. I left my phone in the other room. Hit the thing. 12.11. 12.11. And we're here with Linda Ramone. Hello. Do you have a, do you have an iPhone? Of course you don't. You'd never wear an iPhone. I mean, iWatch. No, I don't have an iWatch. Yeah, I don't it, even know what it is. You say it with disgust. Uh, so. What is it? You keep looking at your watch? It's a watch, but it's basically you do a lot of the same stuff. On, It's yeah, handy but, if you're like... I know, but you're it, constantly looking at your watch then. No, you're not. Not really. You get alerts. Okay. Why, you have one? Well, I got one, but I want to change it. It's too small. I want to get the bigger one. Why? Because the print's small? Yes, it's a bit too small. Mm -hmm. Like, it would look good on you. It just, it it looks, anyway. Anyway, I don't have one. You'll never have one. No, I will never have one. It's not your bag, No, I don't even want this. If I didn't have Minnie Mouse on my cover, I probably wouldn't want it at all. You love your phone. You kidding me? Who are you trying to kid, man? You know why I like it? You're glued to that thing. I'm glued. Glued? Not like you. Yours is attached to your ear. (sighs) Not necessarily. I haven't got it with me now. (laughs) Because you lost it. I didn't lose it. (laughs) I only have it because we have a guest coming at one. And who's that guest, Linda? He's a special friend. Is he? Yeah. Who is it, Linda? I don't know. You know. Was it a surprise? A surprise. A surprise guest. I think we'd get more people listening if we said who it was. Oh. Than a surprise. I see. It's Fred. Okay. Yeah, Fred's coming. Fred. Does Does this Fred have a last name? I don't Give know. a clue. Give us a clue. Uh, he's very funny. He's a comedian. Mm-hmm. Would you call him an actor? Yeah, uh, he acts a lot. Uh, actor, a but, drummer. And he's a you drummer. Know, yeah. And his name's Fred. And his name is Fred. And, and he's, he's ori- super nice. He's originally from the East Coast. Okay. Well, that's a fact. Not okay. Yeah. Actually, where is he from? He was from? in a he's punk from... band in New York mm-hmm. like back in the day. But where exactly is he from? He's from the same place Slim Jim's from, right? Some, some one of them deadbeat places up there. Yeah, yeah. not like Queens. You're Queens not. is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> is that where you're from? Of course, and the Ramones are from. Huh? All them places, though, are like are coming up in the world. What do you mean, to live there? Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't wait to get out of my room. No, but I mean, compared to what it used to be like in the 70s, they're, they're yeah. just like, you know. I don't know. I wouldn't want to live in Queens again. No, you, thank you. You went back there recently, didn't you? To Queens? I don't know about that. You went to New York. Yeah, because I go, had to. <laughs> didn't you go and visit anybody? No. I, I, was, I was in... Uh, you don't have a mum? No, my mom's dead. My father's dead. I have a bunch of cousins in Queens. You, no, you don't really talk to them? I talk to them, but my family acts like Queens is like, and New York City is like, two different things they're like oh you're in the city like that's a big deal like like it's like 50 hours away it's like a half an hour train ride yeah so they look at the city as like this dangerous place whereas queens is probably more dangerous than the city like you're going into the city like i remember i'd say Uh, i'm going into the city are you doing that because you ate something or drank something it's this coffee why not it the coffee you... you didn't get me, just one from the the, right. the swill from the. What kitchen do you have, there. Ajita? It's just it's, what's that? Ajita, like Ajino. Ajita. It's Italian, for you burp up everything. It's a nice way of saying you're burping on air. Hello. Tell, no, listen, I'll tell you what it is. It's a, it's a way of uh, letting you know that you like something. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. <sighs> I like that T-shirt you have on. Yeah. You're gonna sell them this year. I don't know what you got. Well, actually, in case anyone don't know, what are you here for? Besides that, I'm your friend. Uh, I'm here for the Johnny Ramone tribute, August 11th. Yeah. Guess what? It's here again. I wrote to Rob Zombie yesterday. Yeah. And I sent him the little flyer, and he goes, it's been a year already. Is so, he coming? No, Rob's on tour with uh, Marilyn Manson. Yeah. 
So, uh, but he's coming in spirit. So we're going to show The Warriors this year. The movie. The cult classic, The Warriors. Yeah, which was shot in New York, wasn't it? Yes, uh, and it's like all about New York and gangs. So it's going to be amazing. In the 70s. At, in the 70s. It was, ba it was based on a true story. Did you know that? No. There is a, there's a documentary. It's something King... Uh, oh, man, I watched it. Uh, something Trash Kings or something. It's, the mo it's based... Warriors is actually based on that. It's In the 40th year anniversary this year. 40th the year. 40th year. So we're going to try to get the cast, of course, you know. And, you know, it's funny. Once I come on your show, because I always come on a month before. Yeah. And then I go home and then we start doing all the who's coming, who's playing, yeah. who's doing everything. So this is kind of like the start of. But this year I'm going to get Johnny a billboard. A billboard? What, where? Um, right by, like, the Fonda. Like on Sunset? Uh, on Sunset, yeah. What's the billboard going to say? Johnny Ramone, hello, what do N you think? That's it? <laughs> no. That's it? It's just going to say that? No. It it's like Angeline. Bigger... <laughs> you know what? When we first moved to L.A., me and Johnny just a would see, of her. <laughs> Angeline would be, who is that? But whatever it was, everybody remembers it. So. Well, well you look at it, but you know, yeah. there's nothing there like no, saying, go here. No, it says Johnny here. Ramone, the Johnny Ramone tribute, and it says curated by Vincent Gallo and has Jonesy jukebox in the corner. You're going to be on the billboard on the corner. Yeah, better yeah. be big. I better not be yeah. looking through a magnifying glass to see it. Well, it's or a billboard. Hello. Change. I mean, it's big no matter how you look at it. The hey, billboard. Hey, forget about you know? it. And it says the date and that it's at Hollywood Forever. Yeah. Rubble Kings. That, that's the name of the documentary. Oh, okay. Rubble Kings. Well, if any of the warriors are listening <laughs> out there today, please contact us. We'd like you to come to the tribute. Yeah, just look at the Johnny yeah. Ramone billboard and contact us. <laughs> <laughs> www.johnnyramon.com yeah. so Say that in English. Can you say that in English? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> say it again. www. No, no one ever uses the www. Oh, stuff. I don't know. I don't even know what that means. Dot com. Com. Okay, yeah. that was it. That's where you buy tickets and at Hollywood Forever. You can get them there too. Yeah, the on the Hollywood Forever, Forever website. All right. So, I mean, and that's what we're going to do this year, which is amazing because it's been so many years and when people go, oh, what's different this year? Well, this year we have Mr. Music Head. He's going to do the pop-up gallery. Yeah. And he has like a record shop on Sunset. Yeah. It's really cool. Have you ever seen it? No. He has really great photos. So he's going to do the mausoleum. And then we have Amoeba is going to set up some vinyl. Yeah. And then Lethal Amounts is going to do booth. Who? And Lethal amounts. Left what? Lethal. Lethal. Lethal amounts. All right, I was caught. Uh, my oh, friend Danny. I've got to double check with you. Things go wrong. <laughs> go on. I'm from New York. Lethal amounts. Lethal. Not lethal. Lethal. Okay. Lethal. Continue. Howie Pirate was going to DJ. He's good. Yes. And all our friends are going to come. Yeah. Hopefully. So Whoever they are. Is, is this the 14th one? Yeah. The 14th. 14th and... We had the statue unveiling. So that's what I'm going to do also. I'm going to put uh, together with Mandy Stein. Uh, remember the statue, all everybody's speeches? Yeah. I'm going to go look at that tomorrow and see. If you can replay that? Well, to see, yeah. Because Mandy uh, taped it. Taped yeah. the whole thing. How come you didn't speak that day? Do you remember? You I, didn't want to? I don't remember. Uh, it was 100 years ago. Yeah, it was a while ago. Was it like the beginning? It of was the, the tribute, first one. Right? Well, what I year had this 2005. Okay. Wow, that is a long time ago. Yeah. You came to Johnny's cremation, though, when he got cremated. Where, you, did, where did he get cremated? At Hollywood Forever. You just didn't go in the room. Yeah, I get freaked out with stuff like that. Yeah. You what, came, you, you mean he got burned? He got put in the thing and then yeah. came out in, as ashes? Yeah. Yeah, I don't, no, I don't like that. You didn't stuff. go in, you were outside. Because I have photos of you <clears> outside. <throat> Everyone who went in. It was never the same. Yeah, I was one of the last to see him, though, before he got cremated. He was actually dead. Yeah, you came to the house when Accidentally he was dead. walked in the living room, and he's, he's sitting on the lazy boy. Where he was well, the whole time, yeah. It, that was weird. I didn't realize, though, Lisa Marie Presley told me that uh, Elvis, like, they said er he was at the house for three days. They didn't do nothing, right, with him. He was just sitting there. For 
Yeah, if I, I would guys. have known that, I would have had Johnny sit there for a week. Like, and everybody could have came to see him. So legally, you, it's up to you how long you can do nothing about it? I, I guess, but I was told I had to, I had to, I removed him in the morning. He stayed the whole night. I slept on him and my cat, Rusty, and yeah. Eddie was over and yeah. we all just stayed. Yeah. And then we had him cremated. And now he's at the house and he has the statue. Yeah. And here we are. Here we are. You better get your plot. Before the whole con. <laughs> the plot? I don't so, know the plot. So you could come and be with us. Huh? Oh, man. When you want to be our neighbors? Uh, it just seems like a waste of money. I'd rather enjoy money now while I'm alive. All right, well, just remember Unless, whoever is executor of your will, that's who gets to choose where you go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, see, Johnny's legacy was very important to him. So that's why I do the tribute every yeah. year. It was a really big thing. He talked about it all the time, his legacy, yeah. especially when he got sick. You know, he talked to you about it. I know. I just and don't get it, though. A legacy, when you're dead, you don't know about the legacy. Well, that's what you think. He could be in this room right now listening to us talk about him, and he'd be ecstatic. Well, get him to talk you on know? the microphone. <laughs> Listen, uh, you could go to different Johnny! <laughs> Let's do a seance. Well, when you didn't have your first guest, he came through. I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, that okay. was good. That was funny. <gasps> that was true. Uh, yeah, that was... That was it, it, what, it was someone else going to be doing it, and then it, they canceled? It was an actor, and you go see those actors. They're all the same. Yeah, they yeah. cancel on you. Well, and right. then Jonesy was actually going to send them a car. And he goes, I don't... Nope, I car? Get, I wasn't going to send anyone a car. I don't <laughs> send cars to people. Let's get that straight. <laughs> send a car. You're going to have someone pick them up. <laughs> pick who up? Johnny, to come see you at the radio station. He was all right then at that point, wasn't he? Yeah, he was fine. He wasn't sick yet. Yeah. So, no. So what did he need a car for? That's what he said. Don't he have a car? Yeah, he had a Cadillac. He liked driving, right? He loved driving. Yeah, forget about it. He loved driving his Cadillac. Do you want to hear him play guitar right now? On what? Do you just answer the question yes or no? Yes. Okay, we're going to play Commando. Oh, I love that. By the Ramones. We've got Linda Ramone here. And uh, if you want to have a laugh, come to the uh, 11th of August at the Hollywood Forever Johnny Ramone tribute uh, thing. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's take, always a lot of fun. Take it away. We're on the air now, okay? Can you hear? No, I can't. Here's the volume. Okay. Come on. You've, been, right. you've done this enough. Okay. Hello. You're Hi. Li you're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on Carol West. That was the Arctic Monkeys. Four out of five from the album Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino. Started off with ELO, Living Thing. And the time is, uh, what time is it? Oh. I left my phone in the other room. Hit the thing. 12-11. 12-11. And we're here with Linda Ramone. Hello. Do you have a, Do you have an iPhone? Of course you don't. You'd never wear an iPhone. I mean, iWatch. No, I don't have an iWatch. Yeah, I don't it, even know what it is. You say it with disgust. Uh, too. What is it? You keep looking at your watch? It's a watch, but it's basically you do a lot of the same stuff. On, It's yeah, handy if you're like... I know, but you're it, constantly looking at your watch then. No, you're not. Not really. You get alerts. Okay. Why you have one? Well, I got one, but I want to change it. It's too small. I want to get the bigger one. Why? Because the print's small. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a bit too small. Mm -hmm. Like it would look good on you. It just it, it looks anyway. Anyway, I don't have one. You'll never have one. No, I will it's never not have your one. Bag, no, baby. I don't even want this. If I didn't have Minnie Mouse on my cover, I probably wouldn't want it at all. You love your phone. You kidding me? Who are you trying to kid, man? You know why I like it? You're glued it? to that thing. I'm glued. Not, not, glued. Like, not like you. Yours is attached to your ear. <sighs> not necessarily. I haven't got it with me now. <laughs> because you lost it. I didn't lose it. <laughs> I only have it because we have a guest coming at one. And who's that guest, Linda? Pre he's a special friend. Is he? Yeah. Who is it, Linda? I don't know. You know. Was it a surprise? A surprise. A surprise guest. I think we'd get more people listening if we said who it was. Oh. Than a surprise. I see. It's Fred. Okay. 
Yeah, Fred's coming. Fred. Does he? Does this Fred have a last name? I don't Give know. Give a clue. Give us a clue. Uh, he's very funny. He's a comedian. Mm-hmm. Would you call him an actor? Yeah, uh, he acts a lot. Uh, actor, a but, drummer. And he's a you drummer. Know, yeah. And his name's Fred. And his name is Fred. And, and he's, he's super nice. He's originally from the East Coast. Okay. Well, that's a fact. Not okay. Yeah. Actually, where is he from? He was from? in a he's punk from... band in New York mm -hmm. like back in the day. But where exactly is he from? He's from the same place Slim Jim's from, right? Some, some one of them deadbeat places up there. Yeah. yeah. Not like Queens. Queens yeah, not... is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> is that where you're from? Of course. And the Ramones are from. <gasps> All them places, though, are like are coming up in the world. What do you mean, to live there? Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't wait to get out of my room. No, but I mean, compared to what it used to be like in the 70s, they're, they're yeah. just like, you know. I don't know. I wouldn't want to live in Queens again. No, you, thank you. You went back there recently, didn't you? To Queens? I don't know about that. You went to New York. Yeah, because I go, had to. <laughs> didn't you go and visit anybody? No. I, I, was, I was in... Uh, you don't have a mum? No, my mom's dead. My father's dead. I have a bunch of cousins in Queens. No, you don't really talk to them? I talk to them, but my family acts like Queens is like, and New York City is like two different things. They're like, oh, you're in the city? Like that's a big deal? Like, like it's like 50 hours away. It's oh, like a half an hour train ride. Yeah. So they look at the city as like this dangerous place, whereas Queens is probably more dangerous than city. the city. Dangerous like you're going place. into the city. Like I remember I'd say, uh. I'm going into the city. It, it, are you doing that because you ate something or drank something? It's this coffee. Why? Not it the coffee you... you didn't get me, just one from the the, right. the swill from the What kitchen. do you have, Ajita? It's just, it's, what's that? Ajita? Like, Ajino. Ajita. It's Italian for you burp up everything. It's a nice way of saying you're burping on air. Hello. Tell, no, listen, I'll tell you what it is. It's a, it's a way of uh, letting you know that you like something. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. I like that T-shirt you have on. Yeah. You're going to sell them this year? I don't know what you got. Well, actually, in case anyone don't know, what are you here for? Besides that, I'm your friend. Uh, I'm here for the Johnny Ramone tribute, August 11th. Yeah. Guess what? It's here again. I wrote to Rob Zombie yesterday. Yeah. And I sent him the little flyer, and he goes, it's been a year already. Is so he coming? No, Rob's on tour with uh, Marilyn Manson. Yeah. So, uh, but he's coming in spirit. So we're going to show The Warriors this year. The movie. The cult classic, The Warriors. Yeah, which was shot in New York, wasn't it? Yes, uh, and it's like all about New York and gangs. So it's going to be amazing. In the 70s. At, in the 70s. It was, ba it was based on a true story. Did you know that? No. There is a, there's a documentary. It's something King... Uh, oh man, I watched it. Uh, something Trash Kings or something. It's the mo It's based. Warriors is actually based on that. It's In the fortieth year anniversary this year. Fortieth year. Fortieth year. So we're going to try to get the cast, of course. You know, and you know, it's funny. Once I come on your show, because I always come on a month before. Yeah. And then I go home, and then we start doing all the who's coming, who's playing, yeah. who's doing everything. So this is kind of like the start of, but this year I'm going to get Johnny a billboard. A billboard? What? Where? Um, right by like the Fonda. Like on Sunset. Uh, on Sunset. Yeah. What's the billboard going to say? Johnny Ramone. Hello. What do N you think? That's it. <laughs> no. That's it. It's just going to say that. No. It it's has like a Angeline. Bigger. <laughs> You know what? When we first moved to LA, me and Johnny just a would picture see, of her. Angeline would be, who is that? But whatever it was, everybody remembers it. So well, well you look at it, but you know, yeah. there's nothing there. Like no, saying, it says Go Johnny here. Ramone, the Johnny Ramone tribute, and it says curated by Vincent Gallo, and it has Jonesy jukebox in the corner. You're gonna be on the billboard on the corner. Yeah, better yeah. be big. I better not be yeah. looking through a magnifying glass to see it. Well, it's or a billboard. Hello, change. I mean it's big no matter how you look at it. The hey, billboard. Hey, forget about you know? it. And it says the date and that it's at Hollywood Forever. Yeah, Rubble Kings. That, that's the name of the documentary. Oh, okay. Rubble Kings. Well, if any of the warriors are listening <sighs> out there today, please contact us. We'd like you to come to the tribute. Yeah, just look at the Johnny yeah. Ramone billboard and contact <laughs> us. 
www.johnnyramon.com. Yeah. Say that in English. Can you say that in English? www.johnnyramon.com. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> say it again. www. No, no one ever uses the www. Oh, stuff. I don't know. I don't even know what that means. Dot com. Com. Okay, yeah. that was it. That's where you buy tickets and at Hollywood Forever. You can get them there too. Yeah, the on the Hollywood Forever. Forever website. All right. So, I mean, and that's what we're going to do this year, which is amazing because it's been so many years and when people go, oh, what's different this year? Well, this year we have Mr. Music Head. He's going to do the pop-up gallery. Yeah. And he has like a record shop on Sunset. Yeah. It's really cool. Have you ever seen it? No. He has really great photos. So he's going to do the mausoleum. And then we have Amoeba is going to set up some vinyl. Yeah. And then Lethal Amounts is going to do booth. Who? And Lethal Amounts. Left what? Lethal? Lethal. Lethal amount. All right, I was caught. Kind of, oh, my friend right, Danny. See, we've got to double check with you. Things go wrong. <laughs> go on. I'm from New York. Lethal amounts. Lethal. Not lethal. Lethal. Okay. Lethal. Continue. Howie Pirate was going to DJ. He's good. Yes. And all our friends are going to come. Yeah. Hopefully. So Whoever they are. Is, is this the 14th one? Yeah. The 14th. 14th. And we had the statue unveiling. So that's what I'm going to do also. I'm going to put uh, together with Mandy Stein, uh, remember the statue, all everybody's speeches? Yeah. I'm going to go look at that tomorrow and see. If you can replay that? Well, to see, yeah, because Mandy uh, taped it, taped yeah. the whole thing. How come you didn't speak that day? Do you remember? You I, didn't want to? I don't remember. Uh, it was 100 years ago. Yeah, it was a while ago. Was it like the beginning? It of was the, the tribute, first one. Right? Well, what I had this. that? 2005. Okay. Wow, that is a long time ago. Yeah. You came to Johnny's cremation, though, when he got cremated. Where did, where did he get cremated? At Hollywood Forever. You just didn't go in the room. Yeah, I get freaked out with stuff like that. Yeah. You what, came, you, you mean he got burned? He got put in the thing? And then yeah. came out in, as ashes? Yeah. Yeah, I don't, no, I don't like that You didn't stuff. go in, you were outside. Because I have photos of you <sighs> outside. Everyone who went in... <laughs> was never the same. Yeah, I was one of the last to see him though. Before he got cremated, he was actually dead. Yeah, you came to the house. When Accidentally he was dead. walked in the living room, and he's he's sitting on the lazy boy. Where he was, the whole time. Yeah, it, that was. Weird. I didn't realize though. Lisa Marie Presley told me that uh, Elvis, like, they said er, he was at the house for three days. They didn't do nothing right with him. He was just sitting there. For, yeah, for if three I would have known that, I would have had Johnny sit there for a week. Like, and everybody could have came to see him. So legally, you, it's up to you how long you can do nothing about it? I, I guess, but I was told I had to, I had to, I removed him in the morning. He stayed the whole night. I slept on him and my cat, Rusty, and yeah. Eddie was over and yeah. we all just stayed. Yeah. And then we had him cremated. And now he's at the house and he has the statue. Yeah. And here we are. Here we are. You better get your plot. Before the whole con. <laughs> the plot. I don't so, know the plot. So you could come and be with us. Huh? Oh, man. When you want to be our neighbors? Uh, it just seems like a waste of money. I'd rather enjoy money now while I'm alive. All right. Well, just remember Unless, whoever is executor of your will, that's who gets to choose where you go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, see, Johnny's legacy was very important to him. So that's why I do the tribute every yeah. year. It was a really big thing. He talked about it all the time, his legacy, yeah. especially when he got sick. You know, he talked to you about it. I know. I just and don't get it, though. A legacy, when you're dead, you don't know about the legacy. Well, that's what you think. He could be in this room right now listening to us talk about him and he'd be ecstatic. Well, get him to talk you on know? the microphone. <laughs> Listen, uh, you could go to different Johnny! <laughs> Let's do a seance. Well, yeah. When you didn't have your first guest, he came through. I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, that okay. was good. That was funny. <gasps> that was true. Uh, yeah, that was. That was. It, it, what? It was someone else going to be doing it, and then it, they canceled. It was an actor, and you go see those actors. They're all the same. Yeah, they yeah. cancel on you. Well, and then right. Jonesy was actually going to send them a car, and he goes, "I don't." No, nope, but I car? don't get. I wasn't going to send anyone a car. <laughs> I don't send cars to people. Let's get that straight. <laughs> Send a car. You're going to have someone pick him up. Pick who up? <laughs> Johnny, to come see you at the radio station. He was all right then at that point, wasn't he? Yeah, 
Yeah, he was fine. He wasn't sick yet. Yeah. No. What, so what did he need a car for? That's what he said. Don't he have a car? Yeah, he had a Cadillac. He liked driving, right? He loved driving. Yeah, forget about it. He loved driving his Cadillac. Do you want to hear him play guitar right now? On what? Did you just answer the question yes or no? Yes. Okay, we're going to play Commando. Oh, I love that. By the Ramones. We've got Linda Ramone here. And uh, if you want to have a laugh, come to the uh, 11th of August at the Hollywood Forever Johnny Ramone tribute uh, thing. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's take, always a lot of fun. Take it away. What? You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox, KLOS. Yahoo. That was the Dead Boys. We're here with Linda Ramone. Hello. How are you? I'm quite well and excited about the tribute. Yeah. You're having fun on the box right now? Always. Okay. The box is where it's at. I'm telling you. Uh, Dead Boys, all this and more. Then we had The Saints, I'm Stranded, The Clash, White Riot, Ramones, Rockaway Beach. That's good music. I'm telling you. Good music. I'm telling you right there. Did you see all those bands? Yeah. Me too. Well, actually, I don't know if I saw The Saints. I saw everybody else. Yeah, I don't did know I if I the saw Dead The Saints. Where did you see The Dead Boys? They played CBGBs every other week. Every, they were one of them bands. Uh, they played. were CBGB band. Yeah, yeah. Were, were they good? But when they first started, oh, great, great. Yeah. Stiv was great. Like everybody was great. The best weekend was the Damned and the Dead Boys. Yeah, that was a, like a great punk rock. I, I mean, no one. I didn't even. I don't know if we said punk rock back then. Did you ever go to that place before punk rock, CBGBs? No. You never went there, like. No, early I went to seventies. No, I went to Club Eighty Two. And the Dolls played there. What year was that? 72? 73? Probably you're out around there. Yeah, because then, see, what happened was Club 82, you still had the end of Glitter Rock. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, and Club 82 was like kind of a drag queen bar. Like, it was really interesting. Like, you know, the Dolls would hang out there. I saw Alice Cooper there yeah. walking around. And I was like 15. Yeah. So I was driving into the city with my friends. And it was really exciting. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Glitter Rock disappeared. Yeah. It just went away. Like, yeah. no one cared. And punk started coming in. And then we started, out of nowhere, going to CBGBs and Maxis. Yeah. And that's when you'd go see the Ramones, the Talking Heads, Blondie would play, Suicide would play. You know, television? Television played. And that's when Richard Hell was still in television. And then yeah. he left and did Richard Hell. And Johnny Thunders was still in the Dolls, and then he left and went and did Johnny Thunders and the Heartbreakers. How long was that? Did they do many shows? The Heartbreakers? When it was with Richard Hell? No. I don't remember many, many shows at all. Yeah. I only saw them once like that. Yeah. Were they any good, that, that lineup with Richard? So they were splitting the vocals? Yeah. I, I mean, I wasn't a big television fan. Yeah. Big, they were too little. They were like more artsy. Yeah. And like talking heads. It was like. Patty Smith. It was like kind of that crowd like that. Yeah. And then there was like Ramones, Dead Boys, yeah. Heartbreakers, then like that crowd. And, you know, it was like kind of, and then there was Blondie who was pop. Yeah. It was like, but it was all considered. A lot it was of good all stuff in, though. Yeah. All under stuff. the same roof, which was better because it all wasn't just one thing. So yeah. if you went out one weekend, Blondie would play with the Ramones or, you know, it would be or everybody. And then we'd have English bands come over. Yeah, and then you had the jam come over, and that was like really exciting, like to see the jammed. I, I don't know; it was just more. F but you never thought, like, oh, one day, a million years from now, we'd be talking about it. Yeah, forget about it. But it's a fun actually, to talk about, and it was a great time for bands. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna visit the Duke. We're he here with Linda Ramone, and uh, got the johnny ramone tribute on the 11th of august at hollywood and, uh, forever we're waiting for the mystery guest to show up soon hopefully he's going to show up <laughs> fred well he'll have two less friends fred <laughs> fred we'll, we'll see you in a minute he's a pro oh really uh, i can hear it our friend is here fred fred we Hi. didn't say who we just said she wouldn't say the last name so you can guess it could be any Fred. Any Fred. It could be any Fred. Fred Flintstone. Yeah. Fred um, Gwynn. How many Freds are there? 
Well, is Freddie Mercury? Yeah. Uh, well, he's definitely not here. He's definitely not here. Nor is Fred Flintstone. You know he's here. <laughs> yeah, but <Flintstone. laughs> <laughs> It's our friend Fred. Hi, hi everybody. Hi Fred. Hi. Hi Linda Ramon. Hi, Jonesy. <laughs> that was, that was uh, Richard L. Blank Generation, and then we had Alice Cooper. Be, mm. be my lover. Wow. Do you still pick all the songs and everything? Yeah. Well, not today, not all of them. Well, yeah, I get just to pick. I'm bleeding. I get to pick some. Yeah, it's the, you know? it's the Linda Ramone show. <laughs> but you don't sign off to someone and say, you know my taste. It's, uh, sometimes when I, when I need to go and have a... Mm -hmm. Ten-minute break. When I have to do some uh, uh, history, yeah. when I have to uh, figure out something for the second part right, of the show. because you're studying. <laughs> <laughs> you know what research, you research. That was the word I was looking for. I um I watch this show on YouTube a lot. What show? This one. Jonesy's Jukebox. It's great. So, like a couple days. Am I allowed to say that? But a couple of days of later, you can. I'll just there's great interviews. You know. You like you enjoy watching it. I do. I hate watching it. I, I mean, I don't like. I'm not a fan of watching myself talk to people. Mm -hmm. That's just me. Are you are you a fan of yourself when you are? Uh, no, I don't like seeing my. It's, it's weird. It's I, I find absolutely it. weird. Mm. And I, I hate the angle they get of me too. Mm. And yet I don't do nothing about it. <laughs> Look like a bleeding turtle in it. No, you don't. Huh? <laughs> I think they could shoot that way, right? Yeah, but no one does. Yeah. No one cares. Right. They no. just wouldn't even believe me. You. No one cares I, what you look like. Yeah. I know that's the reality. Yeah. Like, no one cares. They're just like, oh, look, look with who the interview's with. Great. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Fred. Hi. It's Fred. Fred Armiston. That's yes. me. Yes. Yes. From Long Island over here. <laughs> yeah, Long Island. All the way from Long Island. <laughs> mm. You're busy. I see you again. I thought you told me a year ago you were going to take it easy a little bit. Yeah. But You're then, in like five bleeding different things. Things come up, and I, I think, oh, this you will be fun to do. You can't say no. I can't say no. It's really well, hard. Well, look, he's here today. <laughs> I said, you want to call in? <laughs> I was like, that, 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 that's an example. Linda was like, why don't you call in? Yeah. And I thought, no, I'll just go. I'd rather be here. Yeah. Well, you guys you... moved studios. This is a different place. Yeah. I remember you were close by, but. Yeah, not far. La Cienega. Yeah. That's where I was the lord of La Cienega. Yeah. What do you know? Now then? I'm the king of Limblade. King of Culver City? No. I'm, I was adding oh, other. Okay, okay. Add, add, these are suggestions. Culver <laughs> City. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got any more off the top the of your head? Queen of Culver City? <laughs> oh. Why not? No. No. no? You don't okay. want to be queen. Uh, what about? Uh, uh, come on. Uh, you're, the, you're, uh, you're, the, you're the guy. Let's see. What else is there? The uh, something of the West Side. Are we on? This is considered the West Side. Yeah. I don't the know where wicked, I am. <laughs> the, the wizard of the West Side. Oh, okay. Not not impressed. Not he great. was not impressed. Not I like it. The wizard of the West Side? How about just at this, by now you've earned just the Steve Jones. I don't, yeah, but the, it's the, you don't need. You don't need, not to me. You know all them old dudes, old DJs used to have them. I like that. Like uh, Wolfman Jack. Yeah. Oh, he was like great, though. Emperor Roscoe. Well, he was an English guy. Yeah. They had them names. I, li I like that. Yeah. Um, didn't when, didn't some l lately American dudes have names like that? Like, I would say Howard Stern did the king of all media. It's kind of in that zone. That's boring. He didn't like that one. <laughs> Who? He didn't. Well, no, it's just not that yeah. interesting. The king of all media? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a play on king of the king of pop of by Michael Jackson. Yeah. Well, I think I'm, the, I'm, I'm the pontiff of pop. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, I've got a bloody tattoo that says pontiff on my leg. Watch yes, it. That you are. <laughs> oh, you got your religious thing. That's why you don't like it. No, I don't mind. Do you know what pontiff I, means? No, not the really. Pope. Like the Pope. Yeah. Right. That's fine. Is it the title of the Pope? Like, you, can you call him either? Or is it that you just go up to him and you say pontiff? I don't know if you go I, up I to him. I don't know why there's two names, pontiff and Pope. I don't know. I don't, you're, you're, you're a Catholic. You must know that. I don't know why. You're a fair I, weather Catholic. I, no, that's not true. I go to church. Why? Well, that's probably why I'm still alive. <laughs> because God's still left. He's looking after me. Okay. But me and Fred, we're going to be uh, 
at the same place. Oh, change the, the subject. Afterlife. Change the subject. It, it was, was getting good there. Yeah. It was heating anything. up. It was getting good. <laughs> yeah. it, it wasn't I don't want to say much. anything bad about God because when I got to get into the pearly gate, I want to make sure it opens. I live my whole life not okay. doing anything bad. But he's so, not. Gonna, but he's not going to say anything. If you, I don't know. He's not going to. If we're talking you. about him, he's going to make you feel like you've done something wrong. Yeah, he's going to. He's going to go. Hey, thanks for the I shout out. I just don't want to yeah. get on the wrong side of him. On Jonesy's you jukebox. Know? Thanks for this. That was really cool. I was listening. Because uh, okay. the airwaves, the airwaves are up there. Yeah. So he can hear. He can't hear if you're in a room. No, because of the if, walls and stuff. But if it's, right. it's if you're the on, airwaves. If you're on the airwaves, the airwaves are up there. And that's only See, but of you time. don't he think you're going to heaven. Yet. That's the thing. You don't know where you're going. I know I'm going to heaven. I've been waiting my whole life okay. to, like, you know. Do you I, think you're going to go to heaven? At the risk of sounding corny, I think we're in heaven right here. Okay. <laughs> that was bleeding. That, that's okay. Just get some more acoustic guitar. Yeah. That was that was bleeding corny, all right. <laughs> Do you believe there is a heaven? Are you going somewhere besides Hollywood I forever? Am, I am never. <laughs> yeah. Are you, not, are I, you I really religious? Do, are you religious? I'm dude? not religious. I I believe in God, but uh, I'm not heavily religious. But I I feel like this is as even though it sounded corny, that this is a, a kind of heaven. I sometimes in moments like this, if I when I I'm pardon this is even worse. When I meet my heroes and everything and I get to play music and do comedy and things like that, I think this is great. This is what to be grateful for. See, that's why he's our friend. <laughs> <laughs> he just likes sitting here. <laughs> he has and, a lot yeah. being in LA, I love being in LA. It's the best. That's it. I mean I went Simple swimming this morning and heard the birds sing. Jonesy won't get a, a of heater for his pool so he can't go swimming. I think, listen, <laughs> my, my, on days like this, my pool is just as warm as one that you heat. Trust me. I just don't go in it. I'm too busy. It was refreshing. Sleeping. I'm busy sleeping. It's Do refreshing. Do people really go in their pools when they have them? I go in every day. A lot day, of people the don't. Hunky. A lot of yeah, people like don't. don't really go in. No, a that's lot not true. A people tree. don't. Oh, okay. We go in every day in the summer. It's the most amazing thing to wake up. You feel like you're at a resort. Is that true? You're, are you a pool goer? He was a lifeguard. Wow. wow. So, every day, swimming is good for your mental illness. Listen. Yeah. Getting back to religious thing. All you got to do is do the right thing. Be nice to Wasn't each other. Wasn't that a movie? Be nice <laughs> to each other. That's it. Yeah. Bottom line. You don't have to be extra nice. You're not going to get to a different seat. If you're extra nice, you just got to be... Oh. Decent person. What do you mean? A lot of people don't know how to be decent these days. That's, that's true. That, that's the drag about the way this world is turning. And loyal is really out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, though, we have loyal friends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well. but that could change at any point. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it just does. People change. That's true. That's yeah. true. I'm, yeah. I'm thankful for the friends we have, though. What else you got going on, Fred? What are you doing now? You must be doing something. Um, I'm going to do some more. I've been doing these live shows. Yeah. Comedy for musicians. I like the one you, you got me to call in there. That was funny. Oh, my. Yeah, because I played in Tulsa. And you, you're doing stand-up. I did stand-up yeah. where it's, you know, geared towards musicians, but everyone's invited and welcome. And then I played there, and then I had Steve. I had him record a greeting to Kane's Ballroom. It's a very famous Sex Pistols show. And it was great, and they loved it. I saw, I saw a video of it. Oh, it was Someone awesome. sent me a video of it from the back. It was, it was good. It's still on my phone. Yeah. Also, you really sound like you. Yeah, I know. Hello, it's funny. Oh, all right. <laughs> Be nice to Fred. Yeah. Or oh, I'll effing yeah. punch the lights out or something. I don't know what it said. And I'm doing some more of those in um, Australia. Yeah. Coming Is up. this the drum thing? Expanded with it's some more, it's there's, now there's more bit. guitar, a little bit of bass and yeah. stuff too. So it's not the, exactly the same thing. Yeah. No, and, but those um, shows are funny because you were great at the Lago. Yeah, you yeah. saw it there. Yeah, that was um, really good. And uh, I ju just yesterday I found out that I'm getting to do it in Australia. Have you gone there? Australia, yeah. yeah. I've never been. I'm so, so excited. Oh, it's, it's really it's a nice. Long way to go. Yeah. When are you going? End of August, beginning of September. August twenty. So that's their spring then, I believe. Because they have it the opposite. Their summer's the opposite. Like now, there it's cold. Oh, I can't wait. But not when you go there. It's going to start getting hot. Either way. Yeah. Do, do, when did you play there? Did you play 96. there? 96. Oh, that tour. We, that, we played everywhere in 96. Wow. Mm. It was all right. 
the water goes down the sink the, the other way oh, around. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I went in the 80s with the Ramones. And Did we, you love it? Yeah, we all have, like, films from the Koala Bear Park oh, and I the Kangaroo wait. Park. It really was nice. I want to go across Australia. How come more people don't do that? Because there's nothing there. But that's why I want to do it. You know, like mm-hmm. right across, not not up or down, but right across, yeah. like where Ayers Rock is, and you just keep going from one, like west to east. Oh, I'd love it. But you need, like, special vehicles with gas because there's, there's, there's nothing. Oh, so there's no sort of, this is really ignorant of me, but, like, there's no rest stop or sort of, like, little it's slim, towns. It's you, slim. Oof, that you, sounds you, scary. You, you've got to plan it. And you definitely don't want to go by yourself. That sounds. You scary. probably won't end up get making it the other the other side. But I, I, for some reason, I find it fascinating to be in the middle of their stars at night and all that, and the kangaroos. What about going in a circle around the perimeter? Yeah, that's what everyone does. Oh, so people do do that. Well, I guess. I mean, that's that's where it is. That's where Australia is. Is around the edges. It's not in yeah. the middle. There's nothing in the middle. Let's go. Let's all go. I would love it. That that kid from uh, Wolf Mother wanted to do it. We talked about it. You know that band yeah. Wolf Mother? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, we talked about it, and I, f- I thought he was just joking. He called me up two days later. Hey, Steve, come on, let's do it. I've got a film crew, everything. <laughs> 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 what happened? Huh? You didn't do it. Of course I didn't do it. Why? I'll probably never do it. Oh. Don't say that. I there's, would always, like there's always a future. He doesn't know. like to fly. Anyway, what are we doing on the 11th of uh, August? Going to the Johnny Ramone tribute and, and f- watching the Warriors. And, and, and what are we going to do, with Fred? You I don't any, know. Any Hopefully ideas? maybe a little comedy? You two, too? Or do you want to play? Every, it's up to you. Whatever you want to do. Well, I, lo- I love playing with When you. we play, at least we get to play Ramone songs, so that's always yeah. good. But is there any other songs we can do other than Ramone's? I know. We keep, we've done like the same songs a couple years yeah. ago. Yeah. Just... We had a couple new ones last year. Yeah. We could um, do we could do in the city. That's in the movie. Oh yeah. Joe Walsh. We Joe could, Walsh. <laughs> we could do there, is there any other songs in there? Oh, that? that's a good idea. We could look up stuff from the, the Warriors. Soundtrack. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if there's many move uh, other songs in it though, but we'll see. We'll see. Anything from We always come in to some sort of entertainment. Yeah. Do you think we'll have other musicians playing or well, we find out after the show. Mm-hmm. This show starts all the interest. Uh, yeah, and who wants to come? To who's it. in town? That's why if nobody else is here, then you do a comedy skit. You we know, we could dress up as the Warriors. That's that, that, the, that the, I love. That, you know, we could I, wear I, I the, like the, the brown yeah. leather vest. Yeah. yeah, bandana. See, I think I'll, that's I'll more some, entertaining. I'll do some abs. I'll get me abs yeah. by then. <laughs> I think people like the baseball uniform. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's, a really, that's an easy one. Well, that's an yeah. easy costume, yeah. and you know right away what it is. And the white, crazy one with the white face? Yeah. Is it white face, the baseball? And something around the eyes, I think, or yeah, something? Black, yeah, maybe. And the cap. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's the roller skate ones. Oh, right. Yeah, there's a bunch of, like, crazy. There's, there's the baldies. The baldies. <laughs> that's right. I was telling well, Linda, there's actually, it's based on a true movie. Uh, a true thing called I didn't know that though. Rubble Kings that was the, what Warriors was based on it's a documentary about what was really going on it's, oh, it's, ba- a... it's loosely you know it's, it's more Hollywood but it's it's a thing oh I didn't know this Rubble Kings if you want to see that should we play some music we're going to visit the Duke oh jeez oh that time we're here with Fred Armiston Yay. Lin- Linda Ramone <laughs> and uh, we'll see you in a minute You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox. <coughs> that was Garland Jeffries, Wild in the Streets. Then we had Joe Walsh in the city that was in the movie, The Warriors. And we're here with Linda Ramone and Fred Armiston. Should we try to learn that song, In the City? Not in this moment, but... Yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't think it's that hard. I can't play slow guitar, but we don't need... We can just do our version. Yeah. And dress up like the Warriors? Yeah, I'll, I would do it. Because <laughs> I like wearing wigs. Yes, you do. And baseball hats. Like long hair wigs, you know? Oh, yeah, in your videos, you you have wigs. Yeah. I love it when you come over and we and we jam. Oh, that was in great. In the bathroom. Yeah. 
Good it's sound a, in there. A lot of people didn't know that was you. Even better. Yeah. On your little drum kit and Yeah. Well, we were overdue for another one. I'm down, man. Yeah. Always down. Uh so August the eleventh, Hollywood Forever. Johnny Ramone tribute. What time? Gates open like five thirty six, and then you just have a fun filled night laying on the grass. We're gonna watch the Warriors have entertainment, have Mr. Music Head in the pop up gallery, Howie Pyro DJs. That sounds good. You know, Anyone yeah. from the movie? We're well, working on that right yeah. now. So. Yeah, she thinks just because we're on air, they're going to appear. Uh, well, we put it out there. Any warriors out there listening? Uh, oh, hang on. <laughs> Warriors come out <laughs> to the show. <laughs> Warriors come out to play. Oh, uh, hang on. Something's happening. Oh, there, there we are. Warriors come to Hollywood forever. Uh. Warriors come out to play. What? You're in the film. film. Warriors. If you're not driving an Uber. <laughs> Come out to play, yay! <laughs> if you're not dead. Right, so 40th anniversary. That's it. 40th anniversary. 1979. Yeah. Wow. When it first came out. It's amazing though to like to be in the cemetery and watch it with all those people. It's going to be great. Yeah. You know, it's going to be really exciting. I feel like people are going to skew towards the baseball costume. Uh, although, the leather one you were describing, that's probably pretty easy to do. Yeah, it's a waistcoat. The, the Warriors, the actual Blue Warriors. jeans, yeah. right? Blue jeans, like kind of bell-bottom. Yeah. Good abs. That's, mm -hmm. that's going to be a problem. Yeah. <laughs> For everybody. Kind of, kind of longish hair, a little bit. Mm -hmm. A little scraggly. Yeah. yeah. Little That movie feels very summer to me, like kind of a little sweaty. Humid. Humid. Mm -hmm. Well, so the, remember, the everybody, when you, when you come to this event, humid. Yeah, bring a little like a spritzer. A spritzer. <laughs> Look sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> what was the good-looking dude in in the movie? Swan. What was his real name? I don't know his real name. All I know he's Swan. And he's, oh, you like Swan? Swan didn't? was Swan was good-looking. Was he the? Well, there was a couple of good-looking ones, but he was the. He was an actor. What else was he in? Though that guy. I remember him from a TV movie. I don't remember the name of it, but he there was a, a moment where he was. He looked like he'd have been the next, next big thing. Yeah, especially mm -hmm. from that movie. Yeah, remember like Brad Pitt when he was in um, the the two ladies movie. Yeah, what's it? What's that movie called? Um, Thelma and Louise. Thelma and Louise, right? Thank you, JD. And there's Brad Pitt in that one scene. And you know it. You're like you're like guy's, this guy's gonna be the way. next guy. Yeah. Well. He sounds like Joe Del Sandro in the movie. Who? Swan. If you if you listen to him, he that's his delivery. What happened to him now? I don't know. He, I ain't, think he, he ain't dead, is They're he? gonna look him up. Michael Beck is his name. Michael, Michael Beck. Beck. Michael Beck. Hmm. Anyway. We'll see. He had a good look. Yeah. He did. Bad on the baldies. Yeah. Baldies were not so good. I could play a good baldy. Because they weren't really skinheads; they were just like baldies. Just, yeah. And there was it was it, there was there was even another lot, right? Like the uglies. No. No. Wait, how many gangs, gangs were there? Because in that big arena scene, yeah, or whatever, yeah. there's like all these different factions. I don't know. Was yeah. there like six that, or seven? No, gangs? they they're called extras. Yeah. But there was like millions of extras, <laughs> like millions in that scene. That, they should have had a gang called the extras. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Like, we're the extras. And yeah. We appear yeah. in every movie you've ever seen. <laughs> we're everywhere. Look out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are the extras. <laughs> They're probably the biggest group. They're extras. Go. Come yeah. out to play. And be in the movies. Movies. <laughs> with the extras. Read all about it. And do pretend talking when you move your mouth, but you don't make any, you don't say anything. <laughs> oh, man. It's funny walk, watching extras in, in a movie or a TV. If you look way deep, it. it's great. I love it. Like, look at that guy. Yeah. <laughs> on the street when people just, yeah. walk, like on, on the street in New York when people walk in past yeah, each yeah. other. I love just staring at them. I like the scenes where they're all 
clearly being directed by a director. So, like, if you think of Ghostbusters, yeah, you like, it's the end of the movie. Everyone in New York City is yeah. like, "Yay, thank you!" And yeah. then there they are, just thank you know, doing their best. <laughs> Do you get paid if you're an extra? Yeah, of course you do. Uh, have you ever been an extra before I've, you was a superstar? I no, I, I never did. I never did. They call it background work now, but I, I never did that. But um, is that like? But they, but it is like you do get paid. Yeah, it's a job. So is that like the new extras? Is a derogatory word now? I don't know if it's derogatory, but um, what's it called now? Background. I'm a, a background technician. <laughs> yeah, really? I'm a background. Extra player. sounds better than background. Yeah. It's a it's a thank it's a hard job because you don't get to rest and you 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 do have to stay till the very end. But a lot of people don't have anything better to do, and you get paid, you get fed. Yes, you get paid, you get fed. You get okay. to you know it's exciting to be on a movie set or a yeah, set, it's fun so. just to hang out. Yeah, wear wear a costume from the eighteen hundreds. Oh, I was an extra in Rock and Roll High School. There you go. I never got paid, though. <laughs> you might have some residuals waiting for you. Yeah. Somewhere. You know, I do get some money from Portlandia, though. All right. Yeah. You do? I don't. You should. You should. You well, had a speaking... I don't. Oh, you better be getting some. That's crazy. You yes, had a speaking you role and everything. And everything. No, it's it's somewhere. Yeah, it probably is. Yeah. Do you have, have all so your money, money go to your I accountant? I don't even count it. Well, does There's the so checks much. come to you or to your accountant? I'm not telling you. I don't care. I don't need your your money. But, you know, (laughs) I'm just saying you better get your plot before they're all gone. (laughs) Oh, you and your plot. (laughs) I know you got your book residuals. You've got your... When I'm dead, just sling me on the bleeding lawn, all right? With skeletons. You want to go between me and Fred or where you want to go? Just throw bones all over the place. I'll put me in between (laughs) a lot of people. Okay. (laughs) Ashes. That's a good idea. Your bones will be like the background players of the cemetery. <laughs> Just everywhere. <laughs> See? You did get a part. You got your plot, didn't you, Fred? We all took sure pictures did. of it. Yeah. Oh, I am so happy. Because now there's like a little marker for it. And it says, in futurum. That means when That's you're... where I'll be. Yep. But I want to get a scary looking tombstone. Can't you do that now before you're dead? Get a, a, tombstone? a, a tombstone? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm working on it. Yeah. I want to get a really scary looking one, you know, He's like my a, neighbor. a thin one, like the thin ones from like the 1800s that look like cr- kind of crooked and cracked. Oh, like in a horror movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like with the round, it's a cross, but it's round. Yeah, I love those. Yeah, like Black Sabbath yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. I don't know what to write on it yet. I was thinking like horrifying corpse, something. Something putrid. Yeah. Are you, can, is there any, can I get next to you? Yes. Uh, yeah. Is there a lot next to you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know who's right nearby is uh, Vampira. Vampira. Who? Vampira. She was a, a Finnish, well, I guess Finnish-American. She's in Plan 9 from Outer Space. She's Finnish now. Yeah. You know who she <laughs> yeah, is, I set you up for that, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was like we rehearsed it. Yeah. <laughs> can, you, can you please <laughs> use that clip? <laughs> but is she still alive? No. no. Okay. I don't, I don't play anything. Nobody really alive. I know Elvira. Them. I know Elvira. Yeah, she's alive. She's a precursor. I'm sure Elvira was based on vampire. Mm-hmm. I, I would think so. Guess. You know, Elvira is really nice, though. She's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did, I have a question. Was yeah. Johnny a fan of the Warriors? Yes. We would watch it with Vincent all the time. That's why we picked it. Uh, That's why Vincent, Vincent picked it. What's Vincent gonna do? He's curating it. What does that mean? I don't know. You ask him. I don't. know. He picked the movie. Okay. So it's his night. He'll show some films. Oh, he's un- going to talk. Unreleased films he's gonna talk. of his, yeah. Okay. And yeah. we're going to try to do like some uh, <sighs> speeches from Johnny's statue unveiling. and. Great. Yeah. It's going to be really a lot of fun. Are we gonna re- what, what, how are we going to figure out what we're going to do? When we we'll show do our up usual or? thing of like texting. Yeah. And going, <laughs> can we do a lot of, I don't know, whatever seems right. Okay. Sure. Okay. That sounds good. Yeah. When? I don't want to rehearse. I don't either. But some of it just happens literally when we're in the bleeding trailer before. Yeah, we then, do we're, something. then we have acoustic guitars. We're like, what is it? Yeah. Oh, these are the chords. I think that's it. And just, we'll end it early. Then last this year was. Here. Sorry. That La- was great. Last year was good. You, me, you, Duff, and Billy Joe. Yeah. And yeah, that was great. Yeah. Billy where's Joe's where's Billy nice. Joe? Is he busy? Uh,. He- it sounded like he's coming, but I, you know, he has, uh, he, he's doing a commit. record. You don't no, want to, you don't want to commit. It, it, no, it wasn't really more. It was 
really kind of more he didn't know if he was going to have something to do with uh, promoting or doing the record he's doing. Yeah. You know, Green, they're, bu- they're busy. Like, that's why it's fun, because it's whoever comes. But it always pans out. Yes. It, when you, always. you panic... You go into I, I serious. I'll oh, get out of here, man. Not really. <laughs> yeah. You go into major panic mode. <laughs> I just want it to be amazing because I know Johnny but it is looking down out. at us, going, "Come on, guys." It always works out. Always it always does. does. We had Billy Idol that one year. Yeah, that was great. Oh, in in that room, that 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 yeah. that cool room. Yeah. What was that? Room no, no, called? we did we did that you one. Did oh yeah, one, yeah, 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 yeah. Outside one. Billy. But yeah. also. In, in, inside. What was that had. place called? The, the um, Masonic Temple. Masonic Temple. That yeah. is a yeah. cool room. Yeah. I'd yeah. love to live in there. Well, that may be next year for 15. What, oh, for me to live in there? Yeah. Next year's 15. Is that, uh, we could just add that room as a one big cemetery for me. Yeah. That That's my thought. I don't know if you have that kind of money. No, I don't think anyone <laughs> does. It doesn't, money doesn't have to be the way to, into it. Just ask nicely. And they're going to bury him in there? Yeah. Just go, yeah. excuse me, oh, as maybe. a favor. <laughs> put out a lot of music. I, I am Contributed a to this <laughs> city. What about that bass those guy? He's worth a lot, isn't he? The Amazon dude? He's, a, I think, the most wealthy human being in the history of history, of, of humanity. I wonder if he's got a lot somewhere. Probably in space. He might be, probably in space. He's, he, he's in the space uh, rockets and stuff. That's part of his... Uh, he might be the only person rich enough to have figured out uh, just to live et- eternally. I'm sure there's some robotic way that he can keep his... I think that's going. in the future, and we're going to miss yeah. that, Fred. We're going to miss it. We're going to miss it. I think only by 10 years or 20 years, too. Like, can you oh, imagine? We just made it. If we'd have just got in there, could we have lived oh. another 30 years? <laughs> Damn it. You think that is true? Yeah. Well, Walt yeah. Disney is frozen somewhere. No, no. He's dead. All right? He ain't coming back. But, there'll but be people who they're coming up out. with scientific things to make you live a lot longer. You know, it's coming. You could just upload your whole existence and your whole yeah. thought process and everything, and then just that'll bit get downloaded into something else. Yeah. How much longer do you want to live? I don't know because I'm miserable. <laughs> Because you don't go swimming in the morning. Yeah, I'm that's telling what it, you. That's what it is. <laughs> you go, oh, you, that's what it is. Swimming? Okay. Go swimming in the morning and listen to the birds sing. We had bluebirds today, oh, morning yeah. doves. We have yellow birds. That's because Eric- you feed them. You spend about 10 grand on bleeding bird food. You think they're your friends. They're just there for the food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's the problem with Italians. They like to feed everything. They don't care what it is. <laughs> I mean, it's... it's pr- I, just, I just pictured those birds... Talking like you, Steve, yeah. and saying, you know, that's all you got. Yeah, where where's the food lady? Yeah, <laughs> that's all that's all we got today. Oh, I know, but my hummingbirds are so beautiful. They're not yours, by the way. Oh, God. you're just feeding them. Yeah. What do they eat? Is it like sugar water? Sugar water, yeah. Oh boy, and they're really picky hummingbirds. You got to make sure the feeders are clean, otherwise they refuse to eat. But now they're eating all the uh, nectar in the in the banana trees. We have all these. You have banana trees at your house? There's no bananas on them. No, but with the uh, nectars and uh, birds uh, probably, of paradise. Like palm trees? Yeah, but with the birds of paradise in them. Some of them. When, when they flower out, the yeah. orange flowers. Have those, yeah, those yeah, I've got a couple. That's where all the birds, the hummingbirds eat the they nectar. Like, they like the yeah. nectar. Well, you had all the bees at your house for a while. They're still in there. I thought you had the bee man. They, they, he couldn't get to this last lot. They're on a corner on the other side. They don't bother me, so I don't care. Okay. He said, just leave them there. They're not going to bother you. No. But with I, the bananas, you never have a problem with gorillas? Sometimes. <laughs> baby gorillas. The small ones. <laughs> <laughs> Those Hollywood Hills. They I'm just, telling you. you know? The place is packed with gorillas. <laughs> You can't get rid of them. I wish we did have a gorilla problem. How exciting would that be? We, we certainly don't. Uh. Oh, man, that would be great. You know what is weird? What I don't see anymore are deers. I used to have tons of deers. Oh, I've never seen them. They just split, man. They have just split. They just took yeah. off. They were but like, this isn't for us. It's closing in on. It was closing in every, every Tom, Dick, and Harry building in a house and... They get knocked down on the on mm-hmm. the on the street, and they, and they I think they've gone deep into the the Santa Monica Mountains. That's that's my philosophy. I see coyotes all the time. 
Yeah, they're all right. I have some Rocky raccoons. They come and walk on the roof. They're really big now, the raccoons. Yeah. And I get Mystic Skunk every comes an hour and then, and he visits. And <laughs> I got a big raccoon. He, he 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 lies on top of this this fence like he owns the place. <laughs> I'm sure he does. Like he's like he's got his half his body over it, and he's, the other half he's like kind of lounging. Yeah. He's massive. Yeah. Am I, am I talking about the right animal? Yeah, like I think raccoon. Raccoon. Yeah, with They're, the eyes. The cool eyes. Big, big. Yeah. yeah. They're like overly confident. They're very relaxed. Yeah. They, they could care less about people. And they want your food. They come yeah. right yeah. out to you. Yeah. Their but, hands almost look like human hands. Too. Oh, yeah. yeah. They've got the claws, right? Yeah. They're, they're really cool looking. Yeah. The raccoons. Okay. What are we doing after talking about? We're not, we're knocking it on the head. We're not even playing a song. Too late, right? We Too late. Okay. We we're can here end with, up with one song. Okay, Linda Ramone. Hello, Johnny Ramone tribute, August 11th, Hollywood Fever. Fred Armiston. Fred. See you there. Well, I thought you were going to do a Johnny Ramone. Oh, yeah. Show up, you know. I love the movie. It's the best movie I've ever seen. <laughs> if you don't go, you're stupid. That's all. <laughs> you're stupid. That's, That's very you good, Freddie, baby. You don't want to go good. I don't want you there. <laughs> All right, we'll see you tomorrow, uh, Friday at 12 Bells, and uh, we're going to go out with Dirty Tide and Tide by the Ramones. Thank you.